I go on so many times about accountability. And I want to tell you a personal story here. And my mum will probably watch this video because it's going to be titled, I can't even help my own mother. So mum, if you're watching, this is me just being honest. My mum's been ill a lot recently. And someone around you might have been ill a lot recently. She's not getting any younger, she's in her 60s. And when I say getting ill, I don't mean the one the illnesses that are going to get you to the hospital, going to be life-threatening or anything like that. But getting ill where you may have to miss the odd day of work, where you may feel under the weather, you've got a common cold, you've got the flu or anything like this. And there's a reason for this. Chances are it's down to how you respect your body how much you move, what sort of fuel and nutrition you're putting in your body, and how much time you give yourself to really reflect, be present, and get into your own mind. Hypnotherapy is a great way of looking at it and getting some of those stresses out. Meditation is a great way of doing it and actually getting closer to your own being, becoming present. Now my mum was around on Saturday night and we were talking, look you're always ill. Now before I go into this in depth, let me just say that not every single person is going to have this sort of reaction to dairy, to gluten, to any sort of foods. But if you're constantly getting ill, this may be something that you want to try. Because whether you're a parent, whether you're a mum, whether you're a dad, whether you're a business guy, being ill a lot. Performing under your maximum potential a lot is going to not just cost you money, but it's going to cost you time, which is the most expensive commodity and the most limited commodity that any of us have. We only have a limited amount of time to spend with our friends, to spend with our families, to spend on our business and changing the world, leaving a legacy, which is something I'm very, very passionate about. Now, we're talking to my mum and... It's not the first time I've had this conversation to my mum. In fact, it seems to be a recurring theme that I have this conversation with her every single time we speak. You're getting ill, you get a phlegmy reflux after you have a load of dairy. <coughs> <coughs> so why do you keep having dairy? It's the dairy, really? And the same when you have bread. When you have gluten, you get that reflux. It's the gluten, really? That's going to do that to you? Unfortunately though, these things don't go in. Every single time I have the conversation with my mum and I say it to her with 100% love in mind. Not as trying to dictate and push her into doing something she doesn't want, but myself and my sister have both noticed this. And we've both noticed that it happens more and more often now as she's getting older. And if you know me, you know my story. I lost my dad when he was in his late 40s. He died on the Monday I spoke to him, he was dead on the Saturday from, he had a stroke on the Wednesday. He was supposedly healthy. So when it comes to speaking to my parent about her health, I take it pretty seriously. It's my job. But there is one reason that my mum never listens to what I say. There was one reason that my mum is somebody that I cannot help. For example, Actually, there's two reasons. One, I'm her son. For my wedding, for my, my sister's wedding, she went on Weight Watchers and dropped weight. She's put that weight back on. She has put that weight back on because she stopped. It was an end goal. It wasn't a sustainable health result or anything like that. But the biggest reason is the reason that me giving you a plan, personally, as an entrepreneur, as a parent, as a friend, isn't going to work. It's the same reason that when I spoke to someone yesterday and he has a lot of weight to lose, but he said, it's cool, I've got this really great on, uh, personal trainer friend who keeps me in check. If your friend is a personal trainer and they keep you in check, but you are really, really overweight, or you are not following the right routine that you need to do, they're not keeping you in check. And that reason is the same reason that my mum does not listen to my advice. She has not paid for the attention 
She has not invested in the accountability. Just being told that you're ill because of this is not a way to go about it and it's not a way to get that full accountability. I challenged her, give me 50 pounds. I put it on the side, if you don't do this, you don't get that money back. Or however much it is for you, a reverse bet is an amazing way of getting accountability. People who do not pay, do not pay attention. And unfortunately, unfortunately that's a harsh reality of life. Get some skin in the game and you can get results. As for my mum, chances are next week I'll have the same conversation with her again. The week after, it'll be the same conversation again. What is going to be the answer for you when it comes to your health? Thank you for listening.